Hello everyone, my name is Aaron and welcome to the Wondershare PDF Element YouTube channel. PDF Element is an all-in-one PDF solution with powerful tools to edit, convert, annotate, fill and sign PDF documents, currently with over 2 million active daily users. And in today's video, I'm going to show you how easy and quick it is to create PDF files and all of the different methods you can use to do this. So let's head over to the computer. So with the PDF convert feature in PDF element, you can pretty much open any office file such as Word, Excel, PowerPoint, JPEG, GIF, log, config, etc. You can convert a range of different formats to PDF without any distortion or issues. Simply go over to your files. So I have some PDFs here as well as some PowerPoints and some Word documents. I can select them, right click, and literally just click on create to PDF. Give it a few seconds to load. And as you can see, all of those files have been converted into PDF format. This seamless integration within Windows makes creating files from existing different formats incredibly easy. This can also be done in PDF element itself. You can just go over to file, create, go over to from file, select your files, hit open, and there you have it once again. So really nice and easy. If you just want to create a blank PDF file from scratch, just go over to File, Create, and click on Blank PDF. So this is ideal if you're creating a completely new file from scratch and you need a blank canvas. You can then use PDF Elements range of tools to create the exact file that you need for your use. So the third method I want to show you is creating a PDF from your clipboard. So let's say you're doing some research online or you find a useful article, a paragraph, an interesting quotation or something like that. You can literally just copy what you want right click and copy, go back into PDF element and from file, create and from clipboard. And then it will copy and paste the text that you had into a new PDF file, which you can then use or edit. This works with text as well as pictures too. So very, very useful. So next I want to show you the PDF portfolio feature. So this is a option that lets you package multiple documents together into one PDF file, even if they're in different formats. So to do this, just go over to file, create and hit PDF portfolio. And here you can add your files. You can also add an entire folder. So let's just select these files, for example, hit open. Then you have all of these PDF files packaged together. You can actually open these individually to go in and edit these if you need to. You also have the option to extract the file as well as delete any files that you need. We can also add additional files. And remember, this also supports things that are not even PDF format. So we can add some PowerPoints and we can add some Word documents, for example. This makes it really easy to organize files for archiving or for distribution, even if they're in different file formats. So with PDF Element, you can actually create a PDF file directly from a scanner. Using its OCR technology, the scan file will also be fully editable and searchable as well. So again, to do this, just go over to File, Create, and From Scanner. So here you can select your scanner and make sure to also check Recognize Text OCR, and then hit Scan. And once that's finished, you'll have a fully searchable and editable PDF file. Unfortunately, my scanner is not actually working right now, but you get the idea. So with PDF Element, there's no need to jump through hoops or go from application to application or even on a web page to get a new PDF. You can simply just click on print. And instead of choosing your usual printer, just select Wondershare PDF Element and simply just hit print and it will create that into a PDF for you, which again is fully editable. Another useful way to create PDFs is to use the split PDF features to create many PDFs from one PDF. So this is a really useful tool if you want to create separate PDFs taken from one main file. So to do this, once you have your PDF file open, go over to page here at the top, and then you have this split function. So select how many pages you'd like to split this by, or you can also split by top level bookmarks. Let's say you want to split it by one page. Choose your location where you want to save and hit OK. It should then open a window with all of your files. So here I have each page as a single PDF. So the last method I want to show you today is how to create a single PDF from multiple files using the combine option. You can do this within PDF simply by choosing combine 
and then choose the files you want. Again, you can use multiple different formats here. Hit open. You can choose whether to generate new catalog from bookmarks and make sure to also choose the output folder. I'll put it on the desktop for now. Hit apply. And as you can see, it's combined all of those PDF files into one big PDF. This can also be done within Windows itself simply by choosing your files, right clicking and click on combine to PDF, choose it. And we go back to the same location here, hit apply. There you have it. So that's how easy it is. So that covers some of the ways you can create PDF files and how quick and easy everything is to do. So I hope you found this video helpful. If you do have any questions, do leave them in the comment section down there below. Also check out the links in the description box to find out more and download PDF Element now and see the benefits for yourself. And lastly, don't forget to like this video, subscribe, hit that bell notification to see more. Thank you very much for watching and we'll see you next time.